everyone. Um, today is Sunday and my plan is, although I'm probably not going to buy anything, I am going to go to Joanne's and look at their fall things because I can't help myself and I just keep thinking about it. So I'm just going to go. Um, it's also my first day not working at my last job and I start my new job on Tuesday. So it's a weird transition period right now where I kind of don't have a job right now. Like, I don't know. Like, I do, but I don't, you know? <laughs> like, I'm just like, I don't know, I don't work anywhere. Because <laughs> I haven't started at my next job yet, so just funny. But, yeah, I am going to go to the store. I'm literally sitting on the couch just watching TikToks because I get, like, this weird, like, block where I don't want to go out. Like, I get, like, nervous to go out even though I know I want to. So I just need to, like, get myself up and go. So that is what we're doing right now. We are having a good day. I don't care. Um, have some belts on. Yeah, we are... Oh, good. Also, I did like a really high bun today, so it's different. And my makeup, I used the next Utopia palette, and I know it's pretty boring, but I was doing a fall look. My lips, actually, um, this is a new product. This is the NYX uh, Smooth Whip Matte Lip Cream in the shade Kitty Belly. I thought it was cute. But honestly, I've been looking for a lipstick like this forever, where it's like coral, but not like too neon or anything, but like bright enough, so wanted to try it out but it's pretty comfortable too so I'm really liking it I might take this on vacation with me actually I don't know oh just threw it <laughs> I wanted to talk about too sometimes I get this like intense feeling of almost guilt when I leave my apartment um so I'm leaving my pets behind and Poppy chirps the whole way I'm going down the stairs. I feel very guilty about it. Um, and then I also sometimes get feelings of like dread, like something bad is going to happen with it. Um, I don't have that right now, but sometimes I'll think about like, what if the place burns down? What if I come home and like the pets, like something happened to them? Like things like that. So I have, sometimes I have a hard time actually leaving my house because of that. Um, again, I'm not feeling the like fear that something bad's going to happen to them but more of the guilt of that I was leaving them but I can't just stay at home all day like people do all the time I'm just I'm just literally staring up in my window right now so it's a little rough my highlight though a little bit golden but that's okay so we're gonna go there's a sale on these so I kind of wanted this color like of on the towels so this one's like a plaid, and I mean, this one said I think I love fall most of all. So I think I kind of want like one of these in my bathroom and one of them in the kitchen. So I think I want these. I kind of like these pumpkins too, but I don't really know where I would put them. Also, $25, but would still be on sale for only $15, so I kind of don't know if I want them. Well, it's basically like the soft matte ones, they're not. Still pretty nice, I kind of like those. My mom would be thrilled. I don't really know why I'm in this aisle because I don't really have like a yard. A rooster. Oh, these are kind of cool. I don't really have a yard to put them in. that the home was guarded by a verb and that would be perfect. It's like Christmas tree decorations but Halloween. <laughs> what have I found? So this is what I have in my cart. I don't know if I'll get this. I think I'll mm, I'm really iffy on this one. I think I'll put it back. I'll put it back because I'm not sure about it, so I'll put these two things back and I'll get these two towels. That was a mess. <laughs> I'm currently walking to another store. There's a five below down here, so I figured I might as well pop in, even though I used to work there, but I'm gonna see if um, they have any of their Halloween stuff out. From what I remember, I think they only have um, back to school things at the moment though. So I'm just gonna look while I'm over here. I'm gonna be walking down, there's a few stores, but if only it wasn't Sunday. Could go to Hobby Lobby. No, I did end up buying um, that little current mood pumpkin sign thing. 
as well as those two towels and then on the way in the checkout um, I found a pair of socks that says gobble till you wobble because I figured I would get those so I could wear them on Thanksgiving because I'm so festive you know I have to wear my Thanksgiving socks on Thanksgiving so that'll be fun almost to the five below from what I can see I don't see any fall so I might have wasted my whole time walking here but it's okay there's no fall things in this five below and I'm getting PTSD just from being in here <laughs> <laughs> oh, but I used to work at Five Below, as I've probably mentioned before. So literally hearing them say like, hi, welcome to Five Below, and like the door chime and the phone ringing, I literally was like, uh -uh. no, never again. <laughs> so, no thank you. I just walked past Hobby Lobby again, and they have so much fall stuff in the front. I should have came on not a Sunday. So sad. She relates. Buildings where you can smash things, and you pay them to smash it, and then they clean it up. You just leave when you're done. Do you bring your own stuff to smash? Yeah, I'm sure they don't mind if you bring your own stuff. Okay, check it out. Because I got something I want to smash. Well, I don't necessarily want to know because that's what I find on smashing. No, don't. I don't want you to poop in there. today I am getting flash from this artist um, they had this event that was called like hot girl summer or something I think that's what it was but I was going to be at work that day so I wasn't able to but I saw one design that I was like I really loved it was a lipstick but since I was gonna be at work I was like it's not meant to be so then I see that that artist is going to be the only artist that's going to be doing those on another day if you want to make an appointment so of course I had to make an appointment so I'm getting a lipstick tattooed on me because I, well, it's like I'm always into makeup, but I buy so much lipstick and lipstick's one of my favorites. So I just figured get something to commemorate me liking makeup. Um, so I don't really know where it's going to go. It's going to go somewhere on my arm, but we'll find out. But yeah, and this is also my outfit. Um, these shorts are from Target. Pink. Um, this is from Five Below. It says Doom is near. It's kind of funny. Um, and then these butterflies, which honestly I think these might be from Five Below too, but I do not entirely remember. And my eyes, I have the ColourPop um, flower like Bambi palette. And then this is a NYX liquid suede. I don't remember what shade, but I think they're just continuing them anyway. Yeah, I had to wear a bold lipstick to get a bold lipstick type too. Um, I'm getting it in black and gray, but I just needed to wear like an obvious lipstick to get a lipstick sent to. I feel like that would be wrong if I didn't. I'm also going to stop and get Culver's on the way, I think, as well as um, either before or after I have to drop off a package. I have to return some things from Shein for my haul that you've already seen, so... This is like the fanciest Culver's I've ever been to. This is so much better than ours. Why can't we have a good one? Look at this little seating area. This is so fancy.
All right, so we are going to have this vlog also be part of my like tattoo video on my. Oh, my fifth tattoo. I'm on number five. I, I literally got home a little bit ago from it. It was very quick. It looks like that. It's right there. So it's like in my, like right around my elbow. Um, honestly, I went into it thinking I would either put it somewhere over there or along the side of my arm. But we ended up with this placement, and I'm pretty happy about it, actually. I like how it fits into that little area. Definitely not going to have that many gaps when I fill in my arm. And when I tried to put it right here, I just felt wrong. Like, I didn't feel like where I wanted to put it. So this feels perfect, and I'm really happy with it. And a lot of my things are very, like, near next to each other. So I kind of like that I'm breaking out and making that a little bit crooked. Um, I like the whole process of it, because when I had booked it, I really had no idea where I was putting it at all, and I even like came into it and I was like, we're gonna move around the stencil and we're gonna see where we're gonna put it. So it was not planned. And so we walked in, we were kind of looking at the different stencils and she put it in that area. And I was like, I don't know. Cause at first I had it like this and I was like, it's gonna get bent in the thing. So then she was like, well, what if we do it at this angle? And at first I was like, mm, I don't know about that, but I ended up liking it as you can see. But as soon as I was like, yeah, actually, I really love that. Let's do that one. She was like, oh, that's going to hurt with that placement because it's going like really close to your elbow area. Like that's going to be a little bit more of a sensitive spot. So maybe you want to move it a little bit. And I was like, mm, no, <laughs> I basically was like, not to be like that person, but I think I will be fine. Go ahead and do it. Like I'm getting a little bit like risky I guess with my placements of tattoos pretty soon so I'm like go ahead I'll get used to it I gotta have pain sometime honestly she was doing it and it was not even that bad again like the only part that was a little bit rough was like doing these lines coming down like these ones those ones hurt a little bit but as she was explaining it was like she was like carving into my arm that's literally what she said though so like it very much felt like that it was okay, it was still like fine, but I just like, those were the ones that I a little bit was like, hmm, that's a little, a little spicy, but still nothing bad. Um, but I did have a tattoo apprentice that was going to be graduating soon. I think she said that she just did her first tattoo the other day, but she was watching my tattoo artist. So I was not getting a tattoo from the apprentice. She was just watching. But it was very interesting because the tattoo artist that was doing my tattoo was explaining everything and I thought it was really cool. And they were talking about how I was like a perfect model and stuff because again, not to like be that person, but apparently I sit like a rock. So I was like, all right, it's fine. And then she was talking about, um, she loves how I have Christmas tattoos because every season she wants to make Christmas flash, but she doesn't think anybody would want it because Everybody wants the Halloween flash and everybody's so into that, but does anyone want Christmas flash? And I'm like, I do. Go ahead and make it. I even told her when I left, I was like, you make Christmas Christmas flash? You let me know, I will be here. <laughs> that was another thing. She was like, how do you feel about going on to like the back of your arm? And I was like, uh, I kind of want to save that in case I do anything Christmas because I've not decided. I kind of said no more Christmas tattoos, but then everybody was like, you have to finish the back of your arm with it. And I kind of don't want to like lose the opportunity to do that. So I'm keeping that. She's a free real estate. And I'm like, you're right. All in all, um, she did say it was a little swollen and red. It's kind of calming down now, thank goodness. But it was. And I can even see here, there's like little parts of like blood and ink and stuff that are like collecting. I could tell like off the bat, this one was definitely like a little bit more bloody than normal, to be honest. Like not like I was like pouring out of blood, but like I can see like it building up under the, um, Sanoderm, I think it's what it's called, a lot. So also was not fun because these ones, well, this is a touch up and then this was like done almost two weeks ago. So she was like wiping and stuff and I was just like sitting there like, it doesn't hurt anymore. But you know, I still have been like sensitive about that area for like two weeks. So I was like, oh God. Although she did put like alcohol on my arm beforehand and it kind of like went into this one and I was just sitting there like, and then to get the senator on, she had to take like a dry napkin and she was like this is gonna hurt and i knew it was gonna hurt because i've had it felt that before and i was just like okay yeah everything's fine 
I didn't tell her this because I didn't want to be like stupid and she was like talking to the apprentice the whole time explaining everything. It was very interesting but I didn't get too much like time to like talk which was completely fine. I'm not complaining. I'm just saying I really want her to be like I feel like I'm truly like getting tattoos now like I'm a tattooed person almost because I've said like sat up for like all of my tattoos but for something about having to lay down now I feel like I'm really getting in the tattoo world or something I don't know I feel like I'm getting a legit tattoo like, like I had to lay down for this one and then this one I had to also lay down and I'm sitting here like I feel like so legit I know I have my other ones are real too I just feel so legit now I have five tattoos so like am I tattooed well <laughs> install by himself down there someday we'll fill something in and then I go to all these guys, my little collection. Yes. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> so he's peeing all over. Yeah. Where's your peeing? <laughs>